hey guys welcome back so in this video i'm just gonna be doing my makeup and bring you guys along i'm gonna be taking some pictures today so let's get started i'm using the il maquillage poreless primer and i'm just rubbing it in the areas that need to be filled i have acne right now my skin is doing the most so i'm just brushing my brows in place and then I'm gonna go in with some concealer just to set my eyelids before the eyeshadow and just kind of shape my brow. So I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Soap Brow just to lay my brows in place. And then I'll be using the Anastasia Brow Pen in Caramel just to fill my brows in. So I'll be using these three palettes from Juvia's Place. I have two of the Warrior palettes and then I have a Saharan, I think. And I'll be using one of the browns and the peachy color just to create a warm brown for my crease. This is just going to help the green to blend a little bit better. So next, I'm just going to be putting this green on my lid and just kind of blending it in with the crease. Look how pigmented that is. Imagine having a white base under this green. It would pop so much. Like it's popping on my skin. Look at it. So I'm just going back in with the brush that I used before. I don't have any additional product on the brush. I'm just blending that eyeshadow in. And then I'm just packing more of that green just to make it a little bit more pigmented. So now I'm just going in with the shimmery green. And I'm just going to pack that on top just to give it some dimension and some shimmer and some, oh, wee.
So now that we're looking like money, it's time to move on to the face. I'm using Zoeva and El Maquillage and I'm mixing the two together to get my shade. And I'm just putting on my face before I blend it in with a fluffier brush. So this is the cheek, it, I think it's called Insta Cheek Pop or Insta Pop Cheek Brush from Real Techniques. I love this brush for foundation. It just blends so well. As you can see, it looks like my skin. I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer, and I think the shade is 13. And then I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in seven, just to bronze up my face. So again, I'm using another Real Techniques brush. This is, I'm honestly not even sure. <laughs> I love it for this right here though, just to blend out my concealer because it's fluffy. So it gives you like, it buffs it in and it just blends it into the foundation. It just looks so good. And right here, I'm just going back in with the foundation brush just to blend out that concealer on the bottom, just to make sure it blends in with the foundation. And then I'm going in with a Real Techniques sponge and I am just pressing that concealer in just to make sure that it's creaseless. So I'm using another Real Techniques brush. I guess I really like Real Techniques. I really like the quality of their brushes. Most of their brushes are like dense, so it gives you like a, a buffed in look. So it just looks like skin. But I'm just blending out um, the bronzer and just making sure it blends in with the concealer and the foundation. And then I finally got my hands on the Honey Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier. I got a mini one just to make sure I liked her. And I do, I think I'm gonna buy a big one. So my favorite powder clearly is the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. This one is dark tan. And I'm just kind of using it to blend the bronzer in with the concealer and the foundation. This is kind of like a transition shade for me. So it's just kind of blending everything together. And I think it was around this time that my edibles started kicking in. So y'all gonna start seeing me singing and dancing like a little much. <laughs> And Zoeva has a really good bronzer. This one is 0 0.6. So she's really, really dark, but I just like to contour with her. So I just put just a little bit, just to give me a little bit more definition and try to blend it in with everything else. 
So this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Face Powder. Um, it's a really good color for me. I got a little bit more tan, so it matches me a lot better. But I really like it. And I, I'm using a lot of powder because I get very oily very quickly. I don't know if you can see that cheek right there. She's already oily. Sweetie, she is feeling this edible, okay? <laughs> So this is the Il Maquillage Bronzer in Back to Black, and it's very, very orange, so I'm just using it as a blush today. This is the MAC Magic Extension Mascara. I really like it for the bottom lashes because she extends the bottom ones to match the top ones. And I'm using Chestnut Lip Liner, and I'll be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Honey Matte Lipstick on top. And I'll just be putting some of the powder on my lips just to make it super matte. And this is the finished look. She looks cute, she looks like money. I'm just gonna spray my face down with some Fix Plus. I did apply some lashes because I wanted a bolder look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.